There has been a terrible shooting at a high school in Littleton, Colorado. Uh, because the situation, uh, as I left to come out here, apparently is ongoing, I think it would be inappropriate for me to say anything other than I hope the American people will be praying for the students, the parents, and the teachers. And uh, we'll wait for events to unfold, and then uh, there'll be more to say. Questions turn to the motive. I'm going to pull out a goddamn shotgun and blow your damn head off. That drove these young men to murder. I'll rip off your goddamn head. And where the warning signs were missed. Uh, we're over the west side of the high school right now, and you can see not one, two, but three different bomb squads are here. And the Boulder bomb squad is due on scene momentarily. Bombs, uh, I think, are going to play more and more a picture, part of the picture of what went on inside and around uh, Columbine High School today. Three different bomb squads. We know that apparently an, an exploded pipe bomb was brought out of the school a short time ago. And just a few minutes ago, the FAA radioed Sky 9 and asked us to pass on to all of the other aircraft in the area to get away from the west side of the school. The west side of the school. And the reason for that is they thought that they uh, had another bomb in a vehicle. And what they did is, and I want to emphasize that we did cooperate and, of course, passed on the information to all of the other helicopters and fixed-wing traffic in the area. But through technology, we are able to give you this picture from Sky 9. It's going to be a little jittery because of the winds here at altitude. But Jim and Kim and our viewers, if you'll notice, right at the center of the picture, follow that yellow car, a white car, and then the next car up. It's a dark-colored vehicle. You're looking at the back to the front. There's a white car the front of it, you can see that the windows in the back have been blown out and the windows to the right have been blown out. Police did that on purpose to try and open the trunk of that vehicle. They thought that was the car that possibly contained a large explosive. You can see at the bottom. March 5th, 2011. This is David Adams reporting for Independent News International. We have with us today Wesley W. Hoyt a native of Denver, Colorado, and former prosecuting attorney. And Mr. Hoyt's come in to represent Donna Taylor, the mother of Mark Taylor, who was the first victim shot on that horrible day at Columbine. Currently, Mark is being held in Arizona by the government in a mental health facility run by the state. Mr. Hoyt, um, how long has Mark been been there in that facility? Mark was um, uh, involuntarily taken at a local area, Bannergate Hospital, when his mother took him in at the very beginning of January 2010. Uh, the family had been uh, exposed to methane gas, and Mark was showing some symptoms that he might be suffering from a uh, seizure. So his mom took him to the emergency room, and they just kept him. And uh, they started medicating him, and over-medicating him, and telling her that they were helping him, and they engaged in a systematic process of separating uh, Mark's mother, that is Donna Taylor, from Mark. And in fact, as of now, which is uh, more than a year later, um, the mental health workers have instructed the brothers of Mark Taylor. Mark is um, the youngest of seven, and he has five brothers and one sister. And they, the mental health workers have informed them that they are not to call him anymore. They are forbidden to call Mark. So that means they have successfully now, a year later, separated him from his family. 